don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here, and AMD is getting sued. Now, of course, you guys might be asking, Cobbs, why are they getting sued? Well, it pretty much has something to do with AMD's bulldozer architecture, along with you know its essential children, steamroller and excavator, and how AMD has represented uh, the amount of cores available within these CPUs. Now, pretty much to put it to you simply, guys. Uh, AMD is getting sued because they're marketing those, for example, the 8350 as an 8 core CPU. Now, of course, um, what is a core? How do we define a core? And this question right here is going to be very crucial to this entire core case because while, yes, AMD's 8350, 8150, 6300, the 68 core CPUs, even the quad core CPUs, while they are, um, not really eight or four or six complete cores due to the fact that they are separated um, by modules. So for example, the quad core, I, let's just say, you know, the 4350, if that's a fucking CPU um, or APU, uh, that actually has two cores per module and it's got two modules. So that adds up to four cores. So I don't know, the, the whole issue is, what is a core, man? What is a core? How do you define a core? We can't just take what Intel believes a core is and say that that right there is a CPU core. That is not how uh, shit works, and that's not how the legal system is going to see this. And that's the big issue. That's the big flaw I see with this class action lawsuit. They can't just go out and say, uh, Intel has this, this, and that in the core. AMD does not have that, so therefore we're going to sue them and we're going to call that misrepresentation. It just doesn't, it's not going to work like that, man. It just isn't. So in care, in terms of the actual outcome of the court case, I don't believe AMD is going to lose this. I honestly think they've got this in the bag. I mean, let's be honest, guys. It's not like the fucking court system is full of a bunch of computing geniuses. They're full of bloody tech guys. They know exactly what they're talking about. It's not going to work like that. AMD will come in, they'll explain themselves, they say why they're not being misleading in the advertising and it's just going to end like that. But getting more detailed and more deep into it, what do you guys actually think? Because it's kind of problematic. You've got, say for example, with the 6300, you've got six cores, right? However, you've got, I believe it's set into three modules or two modules. I believe it's three modules of two cores each. So you've got shared resource. Sorry if I got that wrong, by the way. It might be two. It might be the other way around, vice versa. But you've got shared resources within these modules. And of course, that means that not all of the cores are equal. So you're not going to be getting, it's for example, 6x performance or even, you know, like 5.8x performance. You're getting more like 5.1 or in some cases, maybe even. 4.9 or something like that. So you're not getting perfectly scalable performance. And of course, that brings up issues. People say, you know, I'm not getting what I paid for. I'm not getting six cores or eight cores. But look, guys, at the end of the day, when AMD first unveiled the bulldozer architecture, they were pretty clear that, look, these aren't like eight or six or four cores as you know it. Uh, we're using modules here. We're using a different type of multi-threading. So you're not going to be getting the same kind of performance as you say would get on an, like an eight core Intel CPU with similar specifications because it's it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different architecture. It doesn't work exactly the same. So I believe AMD in that case, I mean, Sure, it was a bit misleading, but they were pretty clear. I mean, before I bought my 8350, look, I knew that this 8-core CPU or 8 cores or whatever, whatever the fuck you want to uh, take it as, I knew that it was not like pow 8 powerful cores. I knew some of them were better than others. I knew that they were split up into modules. I knew that it wasn't going to be the best and it wouldn't be comparable to an 8-core Intel CPU. I knew that because... I mean, AMD and various reviewers and whatnot made it clear to me, but I still bought it because I believe it was a good purchase decision and it was cheap for me. So at the end of the day, guys, look, yes, AMD was a bit misleading, to be honest. I mean, they were. I mean, and it's not really their fault. It's also kind of the fault of the retailers. You see a, a bloody, like a quad core AMD laptop and you're like, look guys, this has fucking four cores. This thing is insane. It's better than that. Let's say um, like that i3 right next to it, even though it might not actually be so. And of course the consumer will end up buying the quad core 
uh, AMD APU because, you know, it's better. It's got more cores and, you know, it's a marketing ploy. More cores to the average consumer that doesn't know what they're talking about will automatically mean to them more power. More cores is more power. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. It's, it's a great era that you can't really talk about, but at the end of the day, they're not losing this fucking lawsuit, man. They've got this in the bag. So, look, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, look, comment down below on what you think on this whole issue. Thank you for watching. I believe I said that already. And the cobs will see you later.